you personally, can you really fix somebody's life? Congregation, okay. And I know we have many new subscribers and many Canaanites. <laughs> I'm going to say we can aid in fixing someone's lives. Yes, we can aid in fixing someone's life. I know Kane's arguments <laughs> pretty much. I'm going to wait till he say it. Know? I know. Because what he's going to do, people... <laughs> Oh, so you're going to be the judge? So you're going to play God? You can't do that. You know how Cain does. He'll say the devil advocate, and that Maybe. means that gives him the right to say anything he wants, okay? <laughs> so I, I just go on the aspect, because normally I would just say, yes, we can fix people's lives. Mm -hmm. I will say we can aid, because they're going to have to want to. We're going to, taking all his points, what? give them the tools. Okay, in aiding to fix their life. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I like to try to get in there, put my hands in the dirt with them. That's what so, I like so, to do and try to. So do. your aid, mm -hmm. does it really help that person? Yes. It, it or does it depend on the type of aid, or whatever aid you got in your head that you think? that they need to get to where they want to be. Right. I, I would say um, we would talk about whatever problem they have. They have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yep. then, okay, if I'm better prepared for that, hey, I suggest we go about it this way because now it's a we, okay? I'm, I'm helping you. I suggest you do this right here okay and it just depends on whatever the situation is and they can they can take that information process it and then go about doing it but sometimes people have to see this is what i did and i don't got information from you when you have helped me out okay when you have aided me but i can't fix okay i can't fix your life though no you no, not fix the life but you can fix or aid in helping that individual out in that problem that they have. Mm -hmm. And that goes into, hey, you didn't fix my life, but you helped me out. I appreciate that. Now I know I can do it this way. And then we just use it as building blocks. Okay. That's it. Okay, so, That's so all. you can't fix anybody. Like, so you agree. You agree. I can't fix your life. I can aid in it. I can give you a little things out of my toolkit to help mm -hmm. fix it. But you got to fix it yourself. Don't you think right. it starts with the actual person? The only way that you can get past whatever situation that you're going through, it starts with you. It doesn't start with anybody else. You, well, you, I'm glad you said that, McCain, because it will start with that person identifying the problem themselves. Yeah. And then what could I do? Because I don't know where to go. I really don't. And people say, man, you just go on YouTube or whatever, mm -hmm. all of that, th those things, those items, because there's out there. Hey, the we still have libraries where the computers are free to use, you know. So I identified the problem that I had. I know, let's see, Kane, that guy is kind of squared away. Um, I'm going to go to him. But my pride, forget it. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure it out myself. I don't do it. Once I let that pride go, man, forget that. I'm tired of being where I'm at. I'm gonna go, hey, man, hey, this is what I got going on. I don't, I, I don't want you to judge me or whatever, but look, I need a little help. Are you willing to help me out? Yeah, and I get, I get the aid. I get that. I get giving them tools. Think of your life as a house. And I'm giving you the tools to to keep the upkeep of your house. Tell you what to do with that tool, what to do with that tool, just so you can yeah. upkeep it. But I can't fix your house. You got to fix your house. Same thing right. with relationships. 
You have to do it. The other person doesn't have to do it. It's not on them. It's on you. Mm, Kane, in that aspect, when you're doing <laughs> that, when different. you said that, yes, look. That's part of their life. That's part of their it, life. It, it is. On. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? You when you get me to almost stuttering, life. that means there's something going on. Your relationship, okay? how are you going to fix somebody, that, even your partner? You can't fix that's them. True. Yes, that's that's true. That's true. But let me see. Let me say this, sir. You can aid and fix them. But it's not going to work. Family. We have to do it together. You got to work on yourself. Because mm -hmm. I identified a problem that I might have with my lady. And she, oh, I didn't know I did that. Are you for real? That ain't nothing. Baby, that, it, hey, it's bothering me a lot, okay? I'm letting you know now. But then she say, well, this right here is a problem for me. Well, why, baby, I didn't know anything about that. Okay, that's something that we both, okay, we don't identify that we both have some different issues. We have to work on it together. Now that I know I've been doing this, that's really been out of pocket, out of place with you. Okay, I, I, that's something that I can work on. When it's when it's talking about the the couples in a relationship, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, all of that good, all those good things, then that's something that we can communicate and we can work on. But if I'm working on my issue, and you say, "Well, I ain't doing it," then that is a problem right there. That's a bigger problem, Kane. We have to be able to work on those things together. So when we're talking about so are, the relationship, are you, are, you, are you saying that somebody needs to change their ways? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. You see, Canaan Knights, he keep we dig in a hill. We, we, we I mean, we dig in a hole, but we in the hole. That's what we doing right now. <laughs> no, you, you, I mean, I'm just, I'm just asking that question, man. I mean, come on. What do you think? What's the question again, there, King? <laughs> So, so, all right, well, let, let me put it like, let me put it like this. Um, if you're in a relationship and whatever that yeah. relationship is, and it's not your partner doesn't agree with what you, uh, doing, how do you fix that? How do you mend that? Do you, do you change that person's attitude or mindset about the problem? You can do that. You can fix that problem for them. Or do they have to come to the realization that you can give them all the tools, meaning, hey, we should do this and we should do that. That's the reason why we should do it. And then if they still don't agree, what happens? Hey, that you know what? Now, that in that relationship right there, uh, that's a big thing, you know. Are we willing to compromise? Compromise is a good word. That's, Somebody that's has a, that's to. A real but which, which direction do you, you right. compromise? Yes. Well, it, see, it just it goes in the aspect of this. How big is that problem that you're talking about? And then how much of that issue affects you, affects your. Uh, you just gave that example. Emotions. You just. Gave, yeah, but I'm just saying you just gave that. If, example. If it you. you said it was big. Yeah. It was small for her, big for you. Yeah. So how do we. Get rid of it. She still think it's small. Well, if she think it's small and she don't want to work about it, that's something that y'all going to talk about. And then if not, then You're that person has to it. make a decision. Yeah, well, you have to make a decision on where you want to go Who does? in this relationship. Is it big enough? Is it, is it hurting your mental ability to uh, just be in a, a peaceful mindset? If it's bringing about that duress uh, mentally for you, then some changes might have to be in store for you. And I'm talking about what? Are you talking about for the, the female relationship? Or are you talking about for yourself? I'm talking about for yourself. Right. If you're with, I'm, and I don't want to get off topic, but if you're with the lady, uh, your significant other, and you don't identify a problem that's that's really big to you, you. And you let her know, but she didn't know it was a problem. And she's not willing to try to uh, change. And I know that change word or, or just listen to what you're saying about the situation, about that problem. She's not willing to do something different. And you say how big it is to you. 
Um, what happens? Then you may have to think about, I can't, baby, I can't do this anymore. That's how much it means to me. Because you can't, that's how much it can't means. fix her problem. Her issue. You can't fix the issue. Yeah, you, you can't. can't fix the issue. You can't. Well, she's not willing to. Yeah, she's not willing. If if both of us are are going, are bo- if both of us are like this, we both hard heads. We have hard heads. Okay, somebody has to give. If I'm giving all the time, that's not fair. That's not right. Okay, we supposed to mesh. We supposed to come together, especially when. You are my lady and I am your man. And we trying to get through this together. I've identified the problem and told you about it. But if you're not willing to to compromise, we're going to continue to butt heads until it's going to crumble. If you hit two rocks together, eventually one starts to crumble, one starts to break. We don't want that to happen. We want to come together. Okay. So okay. If, if, if either party is not going to continue to do this and and congregation and family, what is the use with somebody you love, say you love, to keep button heads for? You don't have to be right all the time. And then we both have elders that we can talk to. And sometimes even though you write, even though you write, it can still be wrong in the instance with a relationship. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Now that's a little going over your head wisdom. Older people know what I'm talking about. So, you, so basically, guys so basically and girls you're just saying you're giving in. I'm just gonna give in to yes. whatever you say or whatever because we're well, not all the time. As a person, can, some people, some selfish people will say, "Hey, this is a big issue." Every time you think it's small, mm-hmm. and they make it a big mm-hmm. issue because some there's a lot of people out there. Congregation, let me know. There's a lot of people out there that take. Mm-hmm small things and make them big and in their mind it's a big huge issue <laughs> but in your mind I'm, and you you look you're thinking about it logically you're like man it's yeah. nothing it's nothing why are you stressing over it why are you yeah. you know what i mean you can't yes. understand why it's a big issue for them but they see the big issue yeah you can't uh, change their uh, mind uh, you can't fix it you can all right, let, let, all right. So go ahead. You can do, go ahead and do that then. So so you'll be bowing down every time because they well, they see it differently. It's not they may not even do it on purpose. They may not like every every issue is a big issue. They may not be like that. They they may see it as big. Kane and I said you said a couple of things right there. If every issue is a big issue. We have a problem. If I am, we say compromising, but giving in every time, mm-hmm. Kane, there is a problem. So it's time to let it go. Uh oh, <laughs> look at him. Hey, congregation, we need a hey, y'all got. To, did y'all hear him? Okay, that was a he a baritone or a tenor. I like that. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. I think it will be time. But you have to be able to notice those things. And a lot of times we as men tend to brush off the small things and don't pay attention to the small things. That's true. That's and true. they build up. 100%. They build Kane, up. That's true. I know we that's I know true. we directing this towards a relationship, but it I think it can go hand to hand with any anybody that you're, you know, uh dealing with and you're trying yes. to fix the issue that they're having, whatever that issue yes. is. Can you really fix someone else's issue again and i'll just say that what you said we can aid in it and assist them but they have to fix it themselves that's it it it, it goes back onto the person it always go back on you just like you if if they are always unhappy they're unhappy with Mm. their job they're unhappy with their circumstances Mm. you cannot make them happy you can aid in it, cheer them up. Hey, come on, let's go. Let me buy you dinner. Let me do this. Let me do. That's still then after the dinner, after the gift, after all the excitement, they're back to the same square point that they are unhappy. And you cannot dictate somebody's happiness, no matter what you do. Even though you may see a smile on their face, you still 
cannot dictate somebody's happiness. Go ahead, bro. Thank you for repeating it because I want to. That's yeah. You can't dictate any anyone's happiness. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I know we're about to wrap this up. But I have an, one more quick question. Right. Have you ever encountered in your life? Mm-hmm. I know people in the chat may have someone who's unhappy about everything. Oh yeah, my life. I, I've de- I've like, dealt with. Wow, yes, I'm not happy. I call them up. Yeah, I'll call them a little uh what do they call it? Negative Nancy. I always got something negative yeah. to say. I always got nothing positive. Yes. Always. I always got something. And they'll find something wrong in any situation. Yes. Those are the people you want to avoid. Because they drain yes. your energy. They take away from you. So you're giving all this energy trying to uplift them. And they want to be down. They the negative person. So that's what I'm saying. You can't fix their issue. They have to fix it, fix it within themselves. The, hey, you. congregation, do y'all agree with me? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let 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 us know how y'all feel about this this topic. Um, I mean, we kind of danced around, you know, different situations and relationships or whatever. But I think it can go with all those different issues, man. Yeah. What do y'all think? Do you think that can you fix somebody else's issue? Can you just swoop in, Superman, Superwoman, and just fix it? Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. <laughs> is, is, that, is that a thing? Is, can we actually do that? Or do they need to fix it within? Now, they can come to you for knowledge. I get that. Yeah. I get them coming there, you know, hey, man, what do you, have you ever heard of this? Um, and get some knowledge from it. And then they apply it to what they need to do to get them out of the situation. But, yeah. you, but me fixing it? I can't do that. Not at all. <laughs> for sure. Anything else for the uh, congregation? No, just don't take on more than you can bear. That's it. Don't take on more than you can bear because you'll have their problems being your problems in order to store it. You don't want to do that. Yep. That's it. And, That's all and, and, and I, I agree with it. Whenever you say yes, you just took on responsibility. That's how I see yeah. it. That's the uncomfortable truth. Hey! <laughs> do something. Roger that and out. Hey, Let's man. go. For sure. <laughs> You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 